Hey guys, um, so one of the things that, well, hi, I hope everyone is doing well. Um, so for the last week, the Lord has been talking to me about the power of testimony, the importance of testimony. And we know the scriptures say that, you know, we overcome by the power of our testimony. Um, and I believe that there's a shift in the supernatural realm where the Lord is going to release a grace up on the telling of testimony. I see the rising of testimony where more people in the body of Christ are going to release their testimony from a place of transparency. And they will not be doing this of themselves. It will be the, the, the unction of the Spirit of God, you know, giving them the permission, giving them the release to share their testimony. You know, back in, when was this? Back last year, back in 2020, when I first created my my channel, um, I released a word um, that talks about the power of the testimony. And immediately when God started to talk to me again in the last couple of weeks, uh, or in the last week about the power of testimony and saying to me, hey, Irene, I want you to release, you know, a portion of your testimony um, because this is the grace that is now up on the earth for, cause God is about to do something through the telling of testimony. Um, I hear God say, you know, there are people who he have delivered, who he have brought through, who he have, um, you, he have allowed them to hurdle over certain, um, obstacles in their life, but they have been selfish with their testimony. You know, the word of God said that, you know, after God have delivered you and, 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 and brought you through, we are supposed to go back and set the captive free. And one of the way how we go back and set the captive free is by the power of our testimony. What I'm going to do is I'm going to share the video that I made last year, um, that talks about the power of the testimony. I'm going to um, share it here so you can see it. I don't want to reinvent the wheel. The Lord, the Lord already released to me the, the, the in, in, while I, it, so the video that I'm going to share, I was in a prayer meeting and the spirit of God came up on me and I immediately started to prophesy to the group. And though that me, though that prophetic word was said in that group prayer meeting, it is a collective um prophetic word for the body of Christ. I'm going to share it here just so you can hear what the Lord is saying um in this season as it pertains to the power of testimony. Yes, God. I mean, I'm even feeling the anointing of God on this. There's, there's a shift in the atmosphere and there's a grace upon the earth for the telling of testimony. So tune into this video that I'm about to um, share and I pray that it bless you. I pray that it encourage you and motivate you to begin to tell your testimony. There is a need for, for testimony. Because we have to remember that what we have gone through and what we have lived, we cannot become so personalized with our story and so private with it because we never know that there's a need to our story until the story is told. Some story we never know that we needed to hear that story until we heard it. You know, so your story, I know it may, you may not see the need for your story because our eyes can only see it thus far. But when that story travel and go beyond your mouth, and beyond your teeth, and it meets it meets the ears of someone who needed to hear it. You may still not see that need, but the story did something. So the Lord is even saying right now over the house that our story is no longer our story. This is a season of testimony. We have been winning souls by praying. We have been winning souls by spiritual warfare. But the Bible also talks about winning souls with the power of the testimony. You see, this is a generation that's crying for realness. This is a generation that's looking for people to relate to. And not everyone can relate to speaking in tongues and praying and reading a scripture. But the Lord is calling us in this season to be relatable. To be relatable. Mm. Speak Holy Spirit. Release my story. Release 
my testimony. Hey, Rabababandi, many are the souls who are being lost in this season because they have no one to relate to. Hmm. For we have made church and God and Christian like life look so problemless. Mm. That meant the world is not hearing of many Christians struggling. Hey, Rabban did the baby side. For the world is not hearing of Christians talking about their moments of depression, their moments of suicide. Hey, Bande. For you can have the Holy Spirit in you and still wrestle with suicidal thought. The world is looking for transparency, say the Spirit of the Living God. The world is looking for people to relate to. Hey, Kalabande. So while I respect, you know, our privacy with our story, I have to be obedient to the leading of the spirit that this is a season of testimony. God just said to me, I want my people to be ugly with the world. And when he said ugly, it not as in character or being rude, but show the world, hmm, makai, rabam bandai, ebondo. Show the world you're ugly. Hmm. The Lord says, show the world the ashes that I made beauty of. Hey, kolobonda, the ashes where you have come from. Hmm. Many of you are forgetting the ashes that you were before you became the beauty. And then many of you, hi, when you have become the beauty, you have begun to only display the beauty but the Lord said show them the ashes the Lord said you know why I was crucified because hmm. crucifixion is, was one of the only thank you I, I'm not even from that time but the Lord is speaking the crucifixion was one of the only yes Lord was one of the only um punishment for crime in that season that was public the Lord said I didn't die in private he said I didn't die in private I didn't die in private, I died in public. People saw my ashes. They saw my open wounds. Hey, and he said, those who were close, they saw my bone and my marrow. <laughs> those who were close, they saw my tissue and my... Hey, Akai. Those who were close, they smelled my blood. Mm. They saw my ugliness. <laughs> Those who rose, hey, he said, you notice when I rose again on the third day, I could have came back without my scar. But he said, I came back with the scar in my hand and on my feet. And I came and I showed them my ugly. I showed them my wounds. I made myself relatable. Shakai, Rumbai, Eko, Satai, Imbadai, Mandedebe, Satayande. We know we got to be careful of how the enemy use privacy. Because hmm. you see, privacy is, 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 is socially constructed. Privacy. Yes, confidentiality is good. You know, you don't tell everybody your story. You don't, you know, that's good. You know, because people talk. You have to be honest. People talk. But what I'm hearing in the spirit is that, you know, the enemy has... A, a, a hole on this thing called privacy that he can then you know oh thank you Holy Spirit. it's like what the whole god is showing me now is it's like you know the devil has a way of turning this privacy thing into a way of isolating a problem in the back of your mind and leave you to deal with it by yourself and then you reinforce that isolation of the problem and that burden that you can by yourself you reinforce it by saying oh i'm a private person I don't want anyone in my business. But in James, it said, confess one to another. All right. So um, by now, you should have listened to that for a five minute clip, five minute and 30 second clip. I made an error in, in earlier. I said that, you know, um, in the year 2020, but it was actually it was actually last year um, um, in May of 2021 when God released that prophetic word to me, the prophetic word that you just listened to, it was actually last year. So I just want to make that correction. Um, hallelujah. Wow. I felt led, I feel, I'm feeling led to pray the grace over you, the boldness over you to release your testimony. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Reba ko shalababa ndebe se kota da bansia. 
Father God, I pray that everyone that's under the sound of my voice, everyone that's under the sound of my voice, everyone that's under the unction of this prayer, I declare and I decree that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that the spirit of boldness and courage will begin to come up unto you even now. I declare and decree that angel will, that heaven will release an impartation of the spirit of boldness and courage upon you. I declare and decree that the Lord will begin to give you the vocabulary and the insight and the revelation that you need to articulate your story to the audience that you're assigned to, to articulate the story to the audience that you're called to. I come against the spirit of insecurity. I come against the spirit of fear and timidness, and timidness that, will, that will cause you to draw in a shell, that will cause you to muffle your testimony. I declare and I decree that you are breaking free even now. I declare and decree that you will not be selfish with your testimony, but I pray that the anointing of the Lord will begin to flow up on you even now. And I pray that the grace that the Lord has released on this earth for the telling of testimony will be your portion. I declare and I decree that when you open up your mouth and speak, and share your testimony that souls will be saved, that hearts will be healed. You may not have to share your testimony on YouTube and, um, and on a large platform, but even in inter individual encounters with individual individuals and those in your circle of friends, I hear the Lord said that he is removing away shame and guilt that may be attached to your testimony and he's giving you the vocabulary to articulate your testimony in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah, Jesus. I hear you all say, go forward and tell your testimony. Go forward and tell your testimony. There's a people waiting for your testimony. There's an audience waiting for your testimony. The cat. The captives are waiting for your testimony. There are some people who are bound up and wrapped up by some of the things that you have overcome, by some of the things that the Lord have brought you through, and they're waiting to hear that you overcame so they can know that they can overcome. Courage, boldness, release your testimony in the name of Jesus. Release your testimony, release your testimony. We can bind the enemy by the power of the testimony. And you may ask how, because when we release our testimony and our testimony goes forth and set the captive free, then the enemy has become handicapped. He has become crippled. He is bound by the result of your testimony. I pray the grace to speak. I break the spirit of shame and guilt off of you now in Jesus' name. Loose them so they can go forth and tell their testimony. In Jesus' name, amen. And, and you know, I, I, I will start the trend. I'm going to release a video. Um, there's two videos that the Lord has given me. The, the 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 release to to the the permission to release on my page um so people can see you know a portion of my testimony and I, I do believe that the next a, a few couples of videos that I will make after this or I will post after this will be sharing bits and pieces of my testimony I will be doing so um by sharing poetic videos i have vi i have recordings where i told my testimony in the form of poems i have um i'm not going to give any spoiler alert because this is not even about me but listen i'm not here just encouraging you guys to go ahead and tell your story i'm encouraging myself to tell my story so i'm gonna start first i'll be the first to do it so stay tuned as i release 
um, portions of my testimony here. And I pray that they will bless you. I pray that they will encourage you for you shall overcome by the power of your testimony in Jesus name.